the other day, Bill Nye, Bill Nye, the science guy, and the um, I guess the president or the curator of the Creation Museum, Ken Ham, debated. OK, I had mixed feelings about whether this was a good idea or not. The debate was certainly one that put a scientist at the same level as some guy who believes the earth is 6000 years old and God designed everything. So conceptually, from a broad point of view, I, I had a little bit of a problem with it. However, it did lead to something interesting, which is Pat Robertson saying that creationism is a joke. This is the same Pat Robertson who said that demonic objects in your house could cause headaches or that low carb diets violate God's principles or that people who donate money to their church don't have financial or health problems or that faith healing is like Santa Claus, not Santa Claus, but Santa Claus, that gays destroy society, that gays can change just like murderers and rapists. Anyway, the same Pat Robertson who said all of that stuff also said this in response to the Bill Nye Ken Ham debate. Let's face it, there was a bishop in the Middle Ages there, uh, 1800 something, uh, who added up the dates listed uh, in Genesis and he came up with the world that had been around for 6,000 years. There ain't no way that's possible. You know, anybody that's in the oil business knows that he's drilling down, he drilled down 2,000. Uh, excuse me, two miles, three miles, four miles on the ground. You're coming into all these layers that were laid down by the dinosaurs. And we have skeletons of dinosaurs that go back about uh, 1.65 million years. And to say that it all came about in 6,000 years is just nonsense. And I think the time we, we come off of that stuff and say this isn't possible. And, but I mean, so there was a big bang. So <clears throat> that doesn't mean it came spontaneously. Nobody knows what caused the big bang, but I say God did it. God's in charge of all this. God's in control and um, he is the author of all life. But um, we've got to be realistic that the dating of Bishop Usher just doesn't comport with anything that is found in science. And, and you know, you, you can't just totally deny um, the geological formations that are out there, the rock formations and all the things that go all over the world, especially the bones. Okay, he still does say that God caused the Big Bang, but this is actually kind of a big deal, Lewis. If Pat Robertson, thinks that you're too much of a fundamentalist right wing Christian and it's getting in the way of logic, reason and science. You're so far out there that you're not even on this planet. Yeah, uh, this is great. Uh, I mean, it's good that he can admit that some of the things in the Bible should not be taken literally. Uh, and that's important. Uh, and I, I'm glad I'm glad at least someone in his position is saying something along these lines. If you're a right wing Christian, and Pat Robertson is the voice of reason telling you that you might be a little bit too extreme. It might be time to reevaluate your life, don't you think? Well, uh, that's not going to happen, is it, David? <laughs> Probably not. I'm still getting emails. And in fact, I'm going to read you a very interesting letter a little later today.